Dunlop's theory for its Sport Max scope of road tires has delivered a progression of items with incredible grasp and feel, that additionally have an acceptably long life. This has earned Dunlop tires a deservedly extraordinary notoriety. In any case, there was space for a streetable tire that didn't trade off execution, thus the new Dunlop Sport Max Q4 is gone for the racer or successive track day rider who needs most extreme execution and couldn't care less about the life of the tire. I spent the day at Chukwala Valley Raceway to test Dunlop's cases. I rode the very same 2018 Suzuki GSX-R 1000R that I had ridden at a similar track three weeks sooner shot with Dunlop's Sport Max Q3 Plus tire, giving me a direct consecutive examination. 1. The Dunlop Sport Max Q4 is a forceful, delicate compound, road, track tire. Disregard tire life, the Q4 is about execution and bringing down lap times. As of recently, on the off chance that you needed more grasp than Q3 Plus you needed to go straight to the full race GPA, and despite the fact that those tires are spot legitimate, they are too hardened, and require excessively warm in them to chip away at the road. I have a few companions who attempted it, and they all wound up slamming on icy tires. 2. The Q4 does not supplant the Q3 Plus, it extends the Sport Max scope of Dunlop Road tires. In the event that tire life is a worry, at that point the Q3 Plus is as yet the ideal trade-off and it is still piece of the Sport Max 610. The Q3 Plus has extraordinary grasp from delicate shoulders, and a harder center line to enable you to get tolerable mileage. The Q4 goes above and beyond. 3. The Q4 goes a huge above and beyond than the Q3 Plus as far as hold and general execution, and the progression up is exceptionally evident on track. The Q4 conquers any hindrance pleasantly and we attempted them on the same Suzuki GSX-R 1000R, at a similar track in the same conditions and took 4.27 seconds off my best lap time, see beneath for notes. 4. As far as grasp, the Q4 elastic compound is still significantly gentler than even the delicate shoulder compound of the Q3+. Plus. The Q4 is a solitary compound tire that is sufficiently delicate that it's sticky to the touch. The back tire compound has no silica. It is all carbon dark, much the same as the Dunlop Hustling Slicks utilized as a part of Moto America and Moto2. 5. The Q4 is actually a road tire, so the compound formula has additionally been intended for quick warm-up and no tire warmers are required. Recently employed Dunlop tire analyzer Taylor Knapp did not utilize warmers amid the current Moto America Superbike test. He revealed to me the expression on his opponent's countenances when he just stopped up the bicycle without any warmers after every session was extremely fascinating. I'm generally mindful on chilly tires, so I relaxed for the initial three corners. From that point forward, I had the certainty to left here with positively no recognizable change in the tire's conduct. 6. The Dunlop Sport Max Q4 is as near a dashing smooth as you can get and stay road legitimate. This much expanded land, ocean proportion clearly puts significantly more elastic out and about. The long fur is anti-water skillfully, yet it's unmistakably not a genuine wet climate tire. Once more, the Q4 is the ideal extension between the Griette Long Life Q3 Plus, and the full race just GPA that necessities tire warmers and basically can't work appropriately in the city. 7. The more forceful profile of the Dunlop Q4 makes progressing the bicycle to full lean point significantly speedier than with the Q3 Plus. In spite of the fact that the Suzuki GSX-R 1000R went to full lean detectably speedier, the bicycle didn't slump into corners. The Q4 still has that incredible Dunlop smooth, straight feel. 8. The Dunlop Q4 will go to 62 degrees of lean edge and still keep elastic out and about. Taylor Knapp was routinely recording these lean edges amid the Moto America Superbike test at Barber Motorsports Park. 9. Dunlop's jointless shred, JLT, innovation lays the elastic onto the remains in one long smooth line. Since there are no joints or changes in compound, there is no progress or change in the tire's inclination as it hangs over. JLT expands tire security and diminishes flex, and makes a bigger more steady impression amid braking, cornering, and speeding up. Another advantage is that the back tire is roughly one pound lighter than a similar size Q3 Plus. 10. The tire cadaver keeps up the carbon fiber innovation utilized on the Q3 Plus, so the sidewalls have the solidness required for strength on the brakes. 
The Q4 has a similar firm sidewalls at the Q3 Plus and it keeps a similar consistency when turning in, or coming hard on the gas on corner exit. I discovered I could brake considerably later than I generally do at Chukwala, as the Q4 was so steady on the brakes without the tire squirming by any stretch of the imagination. 11. Dunlop prescribed running 32 psi front, 30 psi rear weights and those worked splendidly. Notwithstanding the extremely hot 90 degree, average, surrounding temperature of the California leave that day the tires carried on faultlessly at those weights and the wear was not surprising me with the elastic drawing in pleasantly with no tearing. 12. The Dunlop Sport Max Q4 is accessible in more back sizes than the Q3 Plus, including a 200mm back. The front tires are all the standard 120-70ZR17, however Ray's decision has now been extended to incorporate 180 180-50, 190-50, and 255. 13. Dunlop has evaluated the Q4 forcefully, with the Q4 just costing around 10-15% more than the Q3+. Plus. Clearly, costs change contingent upon outlet so you may improve the situation than these costs, however basically a front will retail for generally $140, versus $125 for the Q3 Plus, and $215 for a 190 back, versus $185 for the Q3 Plus. The 200 back will retail for around $250. 14. The Dunlop Sport Max Q4 is a no-trade off-road legitimate track tire. The execution far outpaces the Q3 Plus that it supplements, and proceeds with Dunlop's convention of an easy-going elite tire. Lap time notes, yes, 4.27 seconds off the lap time is colossal, and in the same class as the Q4 tire is, I can't characteristic all that spared time to it. At the principal track day on Q3 Plus tires, the Suzuki GSX-R 1000R was somewhat delicate at the back and would shake the bars unequivocally leaving moderate corners. Johnny had jet tuning, Camarillo suggested going up four full turns of preload at the back stun, and that cured the head shaking totally for this later Q4 track day test. I presume that stun modification contributed about a fraction of the time spared over the Q3 plus tires, yet there's no real way to genuinely evaluate it. In any case, I think most would agree that the Q4 for me is no less than 2 seconds a lap speedier than the Q3 plus. <laughs>